Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a geometry puzzle inspired by Edwin Wallace. I'm going to include the link in the description down below. An equilateral triangle and a square with side length x are inscribed in a circle with, with radius r as shown. Find x in terms of r. Okay, so at this point, you can just go ahead and pause the video and try the problem yourself first. Okay, so we're going to start by finding the side length of the equilateral triangle. The only thing we know at this point is the radius of the circle, which is r. So let's go ahead and find the side length for the triangle. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make some connections here. Let's go ahead and connect some points. And then I will be making this connection as well. Which is going to be helpful. And then I will be also making another connection here for the equilateral so we can find the side length. Okay. All right. I think we're good to go. Now, we know that the radius is R, so I'm going to mark this as R. Now, this is equilateral, so that should be a 30, 30, right? That's a 30, 60 triangle there. there. And the hypotenuse is R, so that means the shorter leg is going to be R over 2. Okay, and this is the centroid, so that should be an R. We have a 1 to 2 ratio, right? Okay, and then the base of this triangle should be the longer leg, which is R root 3 over 2. So this length should be R root 3 over 2. Okay, now we know that the side length for the square is X, so this will be half of that, right? X over 2. And this will also be half of that, which is x over 2. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and find the side length of the equilateral triangle first. As you see, this is a midpoint, which is a median. So if you double this length, r root 3 over 2, you will get r root 3, which is basically the side length for the equilateral. Now, why do we need that? Because we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem here and... That's actually going to be helpful. Okay, now, uh, what do we need? Well, we're looking for x in terms of r, so let's go ahead and write down the relationship. Okay, what do we need here? Okay, well, actually, we did, we don't really need the side length, but we just needed this length here, r, r over 2, so that's what we're going to use. Okay, let's go ahead and proceed from here. If I use the Pythagorean theorem, in this triangle here. Let me go ahead and shade it for you. Okay. That's basically going to give us some good information. Okay. So what is that? This is X, as you know. So we're going to be adding, okay, the height of this triangle is R over 2 plus X, right? That's squared plus X over 2 squared is going to equal the hypotenuse. And as you know, the hypotenuse is the radius of the circle, which is R. Okay, so we get this type of relationship and our goal is to find x in terms of r. Let's see where we can go from here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and expand it. r squared over 4 plus r times x plus x squared plus x squared over 4 is equal to r squared. So I'm going to put everything on the same side. Let's see which side is going to be better. So here we're trying to solve for x. So let's see where x is positive on the left-hand side. So I'm going to combine these two terms. That's going to give me 5x squared over 4. I'm going to bring this r squared as a minus sign. So that's going to give me plus rx minus 3r squared over 4. Okay? And the whole thing is equal to 0. Awesome. Now, how do you solve for x? Well, we're going to turn this into a quadratic equation. But let's go ahead and... Eliminate all the fractions. Multiply everything by 4. That should give you this. Right? Okay. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to actually divide both sides by r squared. So let's see what it does. That's actually going to be a good thing to do. We're going to divide both sides by r squared. Since r cannot be 0, this fraction is going to be 0. Okay. Now, 
From here, I'm going to divide term by term. So this is going to give me 5 times x squared over r squared, plus this is going to give me 4 times x over r, and the constant is going to be negative 3. Now, this is kind of nice because now we can turn it into a quadratic equation where we call x over r equal to u, and now this gives us 5u squared plus 4u minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, if I solve for u, then I get x over r, and then I can find x in terms of r. Now, how do I know that x over r is a constant? Well, because this is a quadratic in x over r. Okay. And as you know, we're, we're going to have two solutions here. One is positive, the other one is negative. We're only going to go for the positive solution. So u equals negative b plus the square root of b squared, which is 16, minus 4 times a times negative 3, that's going to turn it into a positive, okay? All over 2a, which is 10. Let's go ahead and simplify this and find the value of u from here. u is going to be negative 4 plus the square root of, okay, 4 times 5 times 3 is going to be 60 plus 7, 16 is going to be 76. Now I can just go ahead and write this as negative 4 plus 2 root 19 divide by 10, and I can divide everything by 2, and that's going to equal square root of 19 minus 2, divide by 5. Now, this is equal to x over r, and remember, we are trying to find x in terms of r, so if you go ahead and multiply both sides by r, we're going to get the answer, so x is going to be square root of 19 minus 2 over 5, multiply by r. All right, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.